What's up fanski? We are making a soundproof board from egg trays. Scrap wood, wood glue, small size screws, screwdriver and old isolation foam. Stick the egg trays on the isolation foam using wood glue. The wood glue is color white and sticky. Apply it to the egg trays like so. Then stick it to the isolation foam. Put weight on the egg trays for better and strong bonding. Overlay another egg tray to connect the space between egg trays. Notice the gap. Put weight on it too. Now, we will put wood frame at the back of the foam. Get the screwdriver and the screws. We will use the screw to attach the tray and the foam so you can bring it anywhere in your studio. Let us continue finishing the frame. Let me use this small wood saw. It will do the trick. Remember we are making a frame. Screw the egg tray to the wood. The soundproof board is ready. It is time to put color on it. I chose white. So the egg tray I accumulated each time I buy one tray of egg. This is the front and this is the back. At the back side you can see the wood frame we made. I put wood glue on the wood before screwing it. I know, it is so easy, right? There, it is all good. If you are living in a busy place, soundproofing is the answer to your problem. If only you could put a duct tape on your neighbor's mouth, but that will not going to happen. Haha. <laughs> the egg trays are absorbing the paint so I need to run to more coats of white paint. I recommend applying a primer paint first than using a darker paint. The acoustic we are trying to copy is way much expensive. It is $20 cheaper. We are doing this to lessen the echo in the recording. The egg trays breaks the sound while the foam absorb and blocks the sound waves. If you want a total soundproof room, make sure that the air cannot pass the wall. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.